Good morning everybody. Saturday the 7th of December today and it is Christmas tree and washing machine day. We all had a bit of a lazy start. Dave is just heading out to pick up the um, widget that we need for the washing machine and I've started rearranging the front room a bit to fit the Christmas tree in. So I have moved my crafting corner over to by the fireplace with my big armchair. I don't know if the light will work if I swivel you round, but I will give it a go. It's a bit dark. And then that's where the Christmas tree is going to go in the bay corner. And where that cream armchair is, is usually where my knitting corner is. That's the plan. If all goes according to the plan, we will be washing clothes with gay abandon by the end of the day. And then tonight, um, Dave is off out to the pub with some friends to watch a fight. He did tell me who it was, but I can't remember. Like a fight on television, like a sports fight, not just for a punch up. So I get the Christmas tree all to myself tonight and I'm planning on a craft extravaganza. I'm going to try and do the selfie stick crotch wedgie manoeuvre I did yesterday for the spinning section and then got it the hoover won't be staying there by the way I just haven't hoovered the hall yet so I've left it plugged in and I thought I would quickly open day number seven first up ooh, drumstick squashies tasty treats and feels flat. Oh, I've heard about these and been wanting some for ages. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Jennifer. A brand called Kylie and the Machine does woven labels that you can sew into the back of things that you've made, garments. And she has different funny things written on them. And these ones say, made with love and swear words. <laughs> Eight labels by Kylie and the Machine. Oh, I'm gonna have to open them and have a look. One of the other um, ladies in my Ravelry group is also a sewer and she's just made herself a new pair of jeans and she had one of these exact labels to sew in the back and I was like, oh, Ooh, I dropped it. Yes, and they come ready folded over. Isn't that brilliant? Well, that's a brilliant advent gift. Thank you very much indeed. Tuck that back in there. Oh, and while I've got you on a stick, um, I mentioned yesterday, I think, about my cast-ons of Christmas that I was going to start. Um, and I did that... Well, yesterday I pulled out some balls of yarn and put them in my squashed podcast basket. Um, and then this, I caked a load of them up last night while catching up with Vlogmas episodes. Who did I watch? I watched Ellie of Craft House Magic. I always enjoy hers and I know she's watching mine. So hi Ellie. Cracks me up with her little, um, her husband has a Harry Potter advent calendar and I love the stress he's under of trying to build it in time for the Vlogmas episode. Um, so that's a nice one to watch. I also watched Caroline's again. Um, some of hers have been a little bit longer episodes, which is really nice. So I was spinning away while watching Caroline. I also, who else did I catch up with? How about yarn, obs, and... Oh, Stress Knits. Do, you, do any of you watch Stress Knits? Stacey of Stress Knits. Um, she's very sweet. So anyway, I got distracted. Um, this is the Claude Monet range from Opal. Um, I can't remember the colourway. It's in my Ravelry projects. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen here as well. And Jocelyn, my daughter, has been after a pair of hand-knit socks for ages and I've been refusing to knit them because I don't knit socks for people whose feet are still growing. But to be fair, hers haven't grown for a while. Um, and so I had a look through my stash on Rav and she picked out this skein of yarn 
and I've been hoarding this like a dragon. So it is a sign of my very great love for my daughter that I agreed to knit it for her. Um, and I wanted a nice simple sock that I could work on while we played Dungeons and Dragons. Um, Dave played Dungeons and Dragons loads when he was a kid um, and we've just got back into it as a family. One of my clients, one of my personal training clients plays it with his friends from time to time. So I was talking to him about it. Then I mentioned it to Dave and then Dave disappeared down a massive rabbit critical role hole. And now we're playing Dungeons and Dragons as a family. So I am Mole Cutpurse, a rogue halfling. Um, and my dad's socks that I showed you the other day are way too complicated to knit during Dungeons and Dragons. So long story short, I've cast on a new sock. So I've done the cuff and they're going to be plain stocking stitch, except for the bit between the markers here, which I'm going to keep in garter. You can just about see it. So I've got it all set up. I don't know if we'll play today because Dave's off out, it might be for tomorrow. But there we go. First cast on of Christmas, I blame Angela. look at that that my friends is a brand new washing machine doing the washing and it's going to take two hours and 15 minutes and it's going to sing me a little song when it's finished so the good news is i have a new washing machine the bad news is i've got to get on with the washing <laughs> 